Hello everyone, Amut here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video we are not going to learn some recessive concept in a state we are going to learn some basic concepts which we should know okay so one of uh, one of that concept is like how can we clone or how can we import a git project to eclipse okay so whenever you join a new project and generally uh, they if they have some existing framework or they have some existing scripts right it's a script so they go they give you git url or they give you git access okay git repo access which you need to clone or import into import into your eclipse or intellij okay so in this video we are going to learn how can we import any git project okay into your eclipse okay and for uh, in another video i will explain for the intellij intellij as well okay so let's focus on this particular video and uh, we can see this uh, we have one public repo right uh, in which i am explaining all the research concept and uploading on youtube right and if i go to repository settings so just for information this is a bit bucket git uh, git uh, server so you can use anything like github gitlab whatever okay so in maximum the process will be same okay so there will be nothing different you just need to clone so if if you go to the repository settings of uh, this particular repo you can find that this is a public repo okay public repo means anyone can clone it anyone can access it okay but you will not have right access okay but you can easily uh, clone it without any permission okay so first uh, in the first half we are going to learn how can we clone or how can we import a git project to eclipse which is a public project public repo okay so first thing what you need to do you need to go to back and if you go to uh, like suppose you get this particular git repo access or in mail you get something right you see one clone button so if you have any github project or git rep projects you will see somewhere you will find some clone button okay so simply click on this and you will get some url here right simply copy it okay so let me go and explain what is this url as well so what i will do windows r notepad plus plus okay so let me maximize it if you can see okay so here if you see this particular uh, syntax so we have something called git clone right because since it is a git project i want to clone the repo so the simple command will be git clone okay if you're using git command line tool so you can use this command directly and you can download the repo first and then you can import to any ide okay but here we are not uh, uh, using any git command tool here we want to import into eclipse directly right so these two things are not needed okay this is the main thing which is the address of your repo okay this is the means this is a particular um this is a particular url using that you can identify a git repo okay so if you, can, if you see here so this is the project name okay and dot git okay so let me copy this particular url okay what i need to do to import into eclipse so before i go and explain how to import let me show you all the version details because in maybe in some uh, outdated uh, versions or old versions you might have you might face some problems okay so i will go to about eclipse id and you can see i am using 2 2019 version yeah it's also out uh, older version but yeah uh, in the in the newer version also the same process will work okay so first step what you need to do you need to go to file okay and you will have one option called import okay so like uh, first time you will not see anything here so it will you, you will see a text box here simply type uh, uh, git okay so once you type the git you will see one option project from git so remember there is no need to install any plugin in eclipse to get this in, in the newer versions it is coming by default with eclipse okay in build so click on this one project from git 
will also see this one what is project from git with the smart import so but as of now let's go with this first one projects from git click on it click on next then clone uri okay because i want to clone the uri okay i'll also explain what is the existing local repo but as of now click on clone uri click on next okay so since i copied already the git repo right so it is automatically filling up filling up here you can see whatever we have copied it is showing up here right ms msc underscore ssu underscore youtube so that uh, that happens automatically they no need to do anything but if you have not copied then you need to go copy and paste it here suppose you have not copied initially okay this is the first time you directly came you directly go file and try to import so you will not see anything preferred here so what you need to do you need to go copy this one copy this one okay and simply paste it here okay on the uri section automatically host and repository path will be filled okay so let me show you again so i have copied here okay and i will go and paste to the uri okay you can see host and repository path is automatically filled up okay and it is coming username here so leave that one so go to click on next okay and uh, it should not ask for the password but okay thing mm, okay okay since it is a public project so should not ask maybe when i was trying something like uh, before making this video so maybe it is asking but for the public project it will not ask okay so in the next section you see one branch selection so suppose in your particular repo there are multiple branches okay in in real time it happens like you might have master develop some feature branches many things you can have right so all the branches you can see see here right so if you want to clone all the branches or if you want to clone any particular branch you can go for it okay so as of now select master that will be by default selected and go to next okay so this will be directory you can see the local destination means where your project will be copied okay or imported so you can see it is by default giving you one path uh, creating one folder inside git right in username and then git folder so you can go and change it there is no problem in that you can go and change whatever wherever you want to keep you can keep it okay then in this event master whatever you have selected you can change it here as well okay a remote name will be origin so leave those things as it is because that is by default setup and that is proper now click on next okay so it will try to uh, import start importing the project now itself okay you can see cloning from it is cloning now we have already by default selected import existing eclipse project okay keep it as it is and click on next okay in the next you see import project okay and automatically it will identify projects automatically it will, it will identify project they no need to do anything okay you can see import project and it is identifying giving you the project detail as well so it is already selected simply select it okay don't do anything click on finish okay as soon as you click on finish you can see here one project is uh, here in your project explorer and all the things you can find whatever you have there whatever you have uh, here okay you can find everything here okay json path examples payload restful book everything you can find it here right so this is the this is the way where you need to uh, this is the way in which you need to import a git project okay and one thing i want to clarify here to work with eclipse okay means uh, if you want to perform some git operation in eclipse there is no need to install git okay git in your system okay there is no need until unless you are using some git uh, uh, command line tool or something where you need to explicitly use the git command then you need that one git to install in your machine okay but for git if you want to use if you want to work with git in eclipse there is no need to install git okay and there is one second point if your 
if whatever depot you are cloning if that is public right so it will not ask for you any password and all you can directly clone it okay but suppose if it is private repo then you must have access on that generally in industry the industry framework or test script they will they that repo will not be public right so whoever is working on that particular project they will have only access okay so once you get the access you need to come and clone it here but the only thing only difference is that when you are trying to clone that particular project or when you're trying to import that uh, project into eclipse it will ask you passwords credentials your username and password okay of git or it may be some uh, your uh, sso password or whatever but you need to enter your credentials okay okay so there's one more thing like suppose tomorrow by mistake you go and uh, by from you you deleted this project okay you deleted this project and you see here there's one checkbox called delete project content on disk okay you do i am not selecting it and simply click on okay okay so now project is gone right so you might be worried okay but if you go and and click on import okay project from git again same steps okay and you see one also called existing local repo okay means if you have cloned any project or imported any project and you have not deleted from disk okay then you can use this option existing local repository okay click on next and you will see whatever git repo is present it will show you here and you can clone it from here as well means you can de-import it okay you can see everything it's same process so you have the project again with you so this is the way you can also import it okay if you by mistake if by mistake and if you deleted your project and you have not deleted from disk then you can re-import it okay suppose what you do this time you delete it from disk also okay then then there's no other way um, you need to go here and need to clone this particular uh, you need to use this particular url to clone it again okay this time let me show you import a smart import okay which we have seen yes okay let's so let me copy it again and go to eclipse okay go to file click on import okay projects from git with this start with a smart import okay click on next same clone uri next okay automatically it will filled up click on next okay this time it is not asking for the password okay so all the branch it will show next next same steps so this is the screen where you see the difference okay earlier what we need to do we need to go and select how we want to import the project right but this time it will this will be done automatically by this particular option you simply need to click on face automatically to identify okay how you are how you should import this particular project okay import as eclipse project right you can see here everything now simply click on finish so one step will be shorter if you are using this particular option import with the uh, smart import okay okay so i hope that you can understand uh, i have covered all the three scenarios like how can you clone or import um, a git repo into your eclipse with normal import and with the smart import what will happen if you delete it from your dip, uh, workspace but not from the disk what how what you need to do if you delete it from your uh, workspace as well as from disk space right then if in the in the third case you need to declone it okay and whatever data you might have you might lost it if you have not committed and posted there okay so hope uh, this will be clear for you and if you have any doubt you can comment or you can send out a mail to me okay and if you're liking this if you're liking my videos and you want me to give any feedback or session you are most welcome and i will try to implement all those things and if you like my videos please like subscribe and share with others thank you everyone